So this good news of the kingdom shall be preached throughout the whole world, right? For this gospel of the kingdom, good news of the for Israelites of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. Now that let's look up that word world. The word is oikomeni. Oikomeni means the inhabited earth, the portion of the earth inhabited by the Greeks in distinction from the islands, that's you know, the, the, the Roman Empire, all the subjects of the empire, the whole, well that was the whole known world. The whole inhabited earth, the world, the inhabitants of the earth, men, the universe, the world. So Oikomeni means the in, entire planet. Um, Double honesty, apostles and elders of great millstone, and shall on to the Akim out there in the elect, the men, women, and children selected to make it out of here for who we preach the word to constantly, okay? The men, women, and children, all right, that are selected, the elect, all right, to make it out of here from the coming destruction. And, you know, I just wanted to make this video that it's too late for Esau, man. It's too late. The truth is already, this, this truth virus has already infected the planet. You see, like the Apostle Elder was going into how this gospel must be preached in all the earth. And well, that's exactly that, man. All right. This truth is being preached and the gospel is being preached. The gospel of the kingdom, I might add, is being preached to all the earth and it's already been spread, man. All right. It's too late. And Esau's trying to do um, damage control. He's trying to stop. You know the truth from getting out, but it's too late, man. All right, and let me go get that scripture that the apostle elder got, and then of course you know, matter of fact, matter of fact, let me read um, Isaiah since I already have it. Let me read Isaiah. All right, this is Isaiah fifty-five and six it says, "Seek ye the Lord while he may be found; call ye upon him while he is near." And the only way you can do that is if the Lord puts the spirit on you to do that. And guess what? The Lord put the spirit on a lot of brothers out there. All right, and a few sisters too, but you know the majority of the brothers out there, right, to come back to him to listen to the prophets on the highways and hedges, all right, telling them um, what they should do to appe to appease the Lord, okay, to follow the law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability, but have faith in Yahweh Shai who came to die on, on a cross for us, man, okay, so we can be delivered out here, all right, and you know, the Lord put the Spirit on. Those men to come out there and listen to the prophets say that, man. Now, you know, those men, you know, they, they're waking up to who they are. They know who they are. And now Esau, he, he, can't, he can't stand the fact that we know who we are, man. Remember, the scripture says they want to keep us from being a nation. All right, as a matter of fact, let me just get it, you know. Let's lock it for that. This is Psalms 83 in verse um. One, keep not thou silence, O Yahweh, by Shemel Shah, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Yahweh. For lo, thine enemies make it tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Yeah, and these other nations are proud, man. All right? These other nations are proud. I right, start with the so called white man. All right? It says, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel or Yasha Allah, okay, that's Hebrew, because we're Hebrew Israelites, man. They want they want us to stop being Hebrew Israelites, man. Because really the you know the Old Testament was written in Hebrew. So really it's like that the name or the Shem, right, name of Yasha Allah may be no more in remembrance. So we are here telling people that they're Yasha Allah, man, they're Israel, man. And that their power is Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. Alright, by way of the Holy Spirit, man. Alright? And that the name of Yahshua Allah may, may be no more remembrance. All right. So they don't want us to have our nationality back at any cost, man. All right. Let me go back to Isaiah. This is Isaiah 55 and verse um, uh, 6 again. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. All right. That word has been pushed out. All right. It says, let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And that's what? Of Israel. So that's what the men of the Lord are saying. Hey, seek ye the Lord. See, this, these scriptures right here are actually the men of the Lord talking, man. 
on behalf of the Lord. All right. We're saying, hey, let the wicked forsake. Hey, let you forsake your way, Israel. All right. The elect out there. All right. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. And how do you return to the Lord? You listen to the prophets, man. And guess what? The prophets are out there. All right. But when we get set up in righteousness, everybody else falls. And they know that. So they're like, man, we got to stop this truth because if they rise up, we're going to be under them. And they know that. Okay. In the spirit. It says, and he will have mercy upon him and to our power, for he will uh, abundantly pardon. All right. Now, let me go to, um, let me see. The book of Ezra. Okay. This is Ezra 4 verse 1. It says, Now when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard the children of the captivity, built the temple unto the Lord power of Israel. All right. Because right now we're building the temple spiritually unto Yahweh by Shemel Shai. We're building it now. Okay. All right. It says the children of the captivity. Where are we captive right now? We're captive in America. We're captive throughout the uh, four corners of the globe, man. Because it's all being ran by Esau. All right. It says, then they came to Zerubbabel and to the chief of the fathers and said unto them, let us build with you, for we seek your power as ye do. And we do sacrifice unto him since the days of Esar Hatton, king of Esor, or Asher, uh, which brought us up hither. But Zerubbabel and Jeshua and the rest of the chief of the fathers of Yahshua Allah said unto them, ye have nothing to do with us to build a house unto our power, but we ourselves together will build unto the Lord power of Israel, as King Cyrus, the, the king of Persia, have commanded to see. So when they, when the other nations tried to build with us, we said, you got nothing to do with this, man. We'll build to our power. All right? Even though, even though they say, hey, man, let's, let's get together. Let's get together. And you're like, look, you don't got anything to do with this. And that's what we say to the people out there, man. All right? This is an Israelite thing. It's a nationality thing. It's not a religion. It's not something that anybody can just join. This is a nationality thing, man. All right. It says, then the people of the land weakened the hands of the people of Judah and troubled them in building. See, when we said that they can't build, then all of a sudden they, they frustrated us, man. They did everything they can to stop us from building, i.e. Uh, today on the videos. OK, they try to take down brother sites. OK, they trying to uh, um, like the apostle elder was going into in that video. They're trying to um, find they're going to get to the point where they're going to find people. If they offend in the videos up to 42,500 and some change, you know, that's a lot of money. That's a huge deterrence. And then, you know, the funny part is they're going to do, they're going to keep this going and try to push that um, to everybody else to get to us. And what I mean by that is we're not the only ones that they're going to uh, come after. They're going to come after uh, uh, other Israelite groups. They're going to come after Muslims. They're going to come after uh, certain Christian groups. They're going to come after all these different groups that, quote unquote, are saying offensive terms. And it's all a tactic just to get to us. So they can say, see, you know, it's not about just y'all. See, we got them. We got them. But ultimately, it's about us, man. All right. Because it says, um, uh, verse four again, then the people of the land weakened the hands of the people of Judah and troubled them in building and hired counselors against them to frustrate their purpose all the days of Cyrus, king of Persia, even unto the reign of Darius, king of Persia. And in the reign of Ahasuerus, in the beginning of his reign, wrote they unto him an accusation against the inhabitants of Judah and Jerusalem. And in the days of Artaxerxes, wrote Bishlam, Mithridath, Tabiel, and the rest of their companions unto Artaxerxes, king of Persia. And the writing of the letter was written in the Syrian tongue and interpreted in the Syrian tongue. Rehum the Chancellor and Shimshai the scribe wrote a letter against Jerusalem to Artaxerxes the king in this sort. Then wrote Rehum the, the Chancellor and Shimshai the scribe and the rest of their companions, uh, the Dineites, the Afarsakites, um, the Tarpelites, the Afarsites, the Archivites, the Babylonians, the, Sh the Shusankites, the Dehavites, and the Elamites. And the rest of the nations whom the great and noble Asnapper brought over and set in the cities of Samaria and the rest that are on the side, the river at and at such a time. This is the copy of the letter that they sent unto him, even unto Artaxerxes, the king. Thy service, the men on this side, the river and at such a time, be it known unto the king 
that the Jews which came up from thee to us are come unto Jerusalem, building the rebellious and the bad city, and have set up the walls thereof and joined the foundation. See, they said they joined, they set up, uh, they're building the rebellious and the bad city. To them, it's a bad thing. When we're risen up, it's a bad thing to them. You see? It's, it's rebellious to them. All right? We're teaching to get right. We're teaching uh, uh, stop uh, it, on all levels, man, on all levels. We're teaching a, even on stuff like this, food, right? We're teaching, look, if it's seafood, it got to have fins and scales, throw everything back. You know, Esau's like, nah, nah, we got to have everything. So if, if we throw everything back, that'll cut into uh, these businesses and this business. We're doing what the Heavenly Father says. But to them, it's a bad thing. To us, we're like, look, man, in our kingdom, look, we ain't going to have no homosexuality at all. Them, they're like, oh, nah, we can't, we can't, nah, you, you got to do what you want to do, man. Live it up. You only live once, man. We got to have homosexuality, man, to, to, to each his own. It, see, everything that we set up in righteousness, the, the so-called white man is like, nah, man, we, we can't have that, man. Likewise, the other nations. All right. It says building the rebellious and the bad city to them is bad to, uh, to us is righteousness, man. And have a little, uh, having a, um, a righteous kingdom, uh, full families instead of single family homes, you know, that's a that's a righteous place to be, man. OK, brothers, you don't got to worry about your brother uh, uh, behind you uh, um, plotting on you ever again in the kingdom. You see, you don't have to worry about that. But so-called black on black crime, so-called brown on brown crime, when all the nations are brown except Esau, that's crazy. But we don't have to worry about that anymore. We don't have to worry about people coming into your house stealing. All right. Cause you mischief, your child getting, your children getting kidnapped. But see, to us, oh, to us, uh, um, I mean, to them, they're saying, you know, that way of life is, a, is bad, man. That's a rebellious and bad city. When all we do is promote life. Okay. The animals won't be in zoos anymore in captivity. But, but you know, to them, uh, we're a rebellious and bad city. You see? All right, it says verse um, verse thirteen. Be it known now unto the king that if this city be built it, and the wall set up again, then will they not pay toll, tribute, and custom, and so thou shalt and damage the revenue of the kings. Exactly, because when we're set up in the kingdom, all right, all that's going to be done away with, man. Guess what? And when we're in the kingdom, the other nations are going to rejoice when we're in the kingdom, and they're going to pay tolls and tributes to us. So exactly. All right. But the other nations, as of right now, they can't they can't they can't see that, man. They don't they don't want to see that. All right. Starting with the so-called white man. They're like, nah, man, we got to frustrate their purpose, man. All right. It says um, Isaiah 55 and verse um, eight for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways. My ways save the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but water of the earth, and make of it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth, and shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. And it shall prosper, all right, in the thing whereunto I sent it. So guess what? The word is getting out, right, to go into the... Uh, the, to the um, minds of Israel, man, especially to the elect. All right. So this is um. No, 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 no. Because that's that's still good though. Because hurt not the earth. Yeah, because it's still good though. I'll just read any with edification. This is a uh, Revelation seven, and verse um two. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. And that's with what? That sealing is with what? This word, man. All right? There's truth to go out and get into them. This, this, this actually links up with Ezekiel 9 and 4. All right? That's the sealing right there. All right? So destruction is not to happen on the earth until guess what? They elect the seal. All right, but guess what? It's already out there, man. The word is out there, man. You see? 
Let me see. Let's, uh, let me go to what the apostle brought out in Matthew 24. All right. This is uh, Matthew 24 and 14. In this gospel, the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations. And then shall the income. See? All right. So guess what? By way of the Internet, this gospel of the kingdom. All right. The gospel of what? Uh, Israel coming back on the scene and ruling the kingdom forever and ever. Because that's a part of the gospel of the kingdom. All right. It what? It's being preached in all the world. Okay. And then shall the end come. And Esau is like, man, we can't, we can't have this, man. We got to stop this. All right. We go to. Um, we go back to uh, Salaki. Bear with me. I want to go back to uh, something right here in the history. Now, some brothers already brought out this uh, video before, but they brought it out um, about this Texas man who created this uh, clean water machine. All right. For uh, Jake's and not just Jake's, it'll, it'll be other communities and stuff like that with other types of people. But he created this machine where it takes fresh water um, from out of the air. It extracts water from out of the air and, and then creates it into, and turns it into uh, fresh drinking water, I should say. Okay, it extracts water out of the air and turns it into fresh drinking water. All right. But the brother showed the video where that machine was being vandalized. If somebody came and tried to uh, break it and and make sure it doesn't work. You know, that you know, that that's the work of Esau. All right. That's the work of the so-called white man. All right. Jake comes up with something that will benefit uh, uh, that will promote life. And Esau sabotages it, man. You see? All right. But, um. The point of this is going down to the comments. All right. Let's see. Because you got a couple of, you know, Jake, I want to see this man own his, own his patent and become a billionaire. Good job, brother. Uh, see, this needs to be in the daily news. Okay. Invention. I've had one of those in my basement for the last 27 years. It's called a dehumidifier. You see that, but you know what? You can't you can't drink, uh, uh, you can't drink that water coming into a dehumidifier, man. All right, that's not fresh drinking water. You see, it's a process that happens in that machine that turns it into fresh drinking water, and the water's been tested. All right. So, of course, the concept has already been um, invented to to a degree, but turning into clean, fresh drinking water is different. All right. Now, going into, but that's the other nations for you. <laughs> hey, 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 you know, somebody comes up with a solution, especially Jake. And the first thing the other nations jump onto, and ah, well, it's this and that, you know. See, it's just hatred, man. But watch this. Pay attention to the comments. Someone will copy his idea and make millions. All right. Age of Google, there are loads of company. You're not patenting this, okay. Look, she did If the so-called wicked-ass white man don't try to steal it from him after they kill him, the Caucasians are being exposed for who they really are. The white sheets have been removed from your heads. We see you. Facts. Fuck the cave baby. See, why are these people speaking like this? All right. A long time ago, people didn't know that, uh, you know, Caucasians, you know, meant what? That they derived or came from the Caucasus Mountains, man. All right. Men of the Lord have been out on the highways and hedges. All right. And teaching this, man. All right. And teaching who the so-called white man is. And really, you know, he comes, the so-called white man or Caucasian, as you know, he comes from uh, the man e Esau. All right. Of the nation of Edom as a whole. All right. He comes from this, uh, the man called Esau. Okay. In the, in the uh, Hebrew, it's Aishashua, means wasted away as he was wasted his pigment, man. That's why he looks the way he is, all right? He doesn't come from the Caucasus Mountains because you got to you gotta um, explain how they got there in the first place. They ain't just manifest there, all right? B people come from other people, all right? So, he, uh, so really, they're Edomites, all right? Esau, all right? It says, um, you got that. 
keep going. Keep going. See, we Israelites, Negroes, Jews, okay, was Israelites are more than just uh, Negroes, okay? It's uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? Don't let that, don't let, you know, other Israelite groups fool you into thinking that the so-called Latinos and Native Americans are not Israelites because they're going and they're suffering the same thing as we are. But the first thing they'll say is, well, uh, some they, they, once again, they'll follow the white man. And say that they came over here on a Bering Strait. Alright. The coldest part up there. And there's no way to pass that on foot. Especially thousands of years ago. Alright. But they'll say that. You know. Uh, they're of Asian descent. And they crossed that uh, into the Bering Strait man. Okay. If that's the case. Then why are they catching the same curses as, as the so called Negroes. Okay. Why are they catching the same as that curses man. And if they're catching the same, and if they're catching the same curses as us, how come the so-called Chinese over there ain't catching the same curses as them? All right, because it, 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 man, when you when you keep digging into the logic of these, these wicked Israelite groups, man, teaching this, man, it, it's, it's too many holes in it, man. All right, Let's see. Thought it was one more. But that's pretty much, uh, but that's pretty much the uh, the point, man. But who's who? Look, the word is getting out there. Even look, this stuff was like you see the comments. They say four days ago, three days ago, and those comments earlier were what four or five days ago. You see, that means the truth is getting out there, man. So Esau's trying to um, come up with a way to uh, get us off YouTube and stop this truth. Was well, not going to work, man. You see, hate speech guidelines, you see, which they made a video, what, May 23rd, 2019, this year, all right, because they consider what we have as hate speech, you see, it's too late, man, it's too late, all right, this truth is like a virus that's already spread already, all right, call all you, how about you, how about you, call Kodash, and as always, to the elect, double shalom.